Hi guys, Talia here. I am back finally with a tutorial for you guys. Thanks for being so patient uh, with my little absence while I was uh, moving and stuff. And uh, this camera, if you can't tell, it's a little different camera. The tutorial is with my old camera, but halfway through that tutorial, it decided to stop working. So I had to do my the last part in my intro with my boyfriend's camera. So anyway, um, just one more thing to add to the list of stuff I gotta do. But what I'm doing for you today is it's a really easy prom look. But when I say easy, it's because I know with all this glitter, it can hide bad blending, and it's still fun, and you kind of want to be fun and do a little something extra that you wouldn't do on your normal, you know, makeup routine, your daily makeup routine. Another fun thing that this camera does is it kind of makes me sound like I have a lisp. So, that should be nice. Anyway, guys, I'm sorry again for the little camera issues, and I will be back with a brand new camera soon, because my birthday is Friday, and I wanted to do a fun tutorial for that. Not the makeup that I'm going to do for my birthday, but a makeup look inspired by diamonds, because diamond is April, diamonds are April's um, birthstone, so I want to do something crazy with crystals. So, if you want to see that, like this video so then I know you guys want to see that and we'll talk to you later hope you like the tutorial bye guys okay guys so we need to start off with some urban decay primer potion since we want this to stay on all night and to not crease on you rub that in with your finger also a little underneath your eye now to get these this pink to pop we want to use a NYX jumbo pencil and we're just going to put that on and then we're going to pat that in with our finger to get something that looks like that. The first color we're going to take, we're going to put this in our crease, and it's called Cork from MAC. It's just a medium brown. I'm going to take my fluffy brush and pat it in there and just start outlining where that socket of your eye is. Use your windshield wiper motions and get that all in there. Next color we're going to use is a little bit darker brown, and I have no clue what this color is called, but any medium darkish brown will do. Plop that in there, focusing more toward the center of the socket. The next color we're going to use is the darkest brown that I have. This is called Embark from MAC, and this one is just going as low as possible of all of the three. Blending those in. So as the brown comes out, it gets lighter, really nice and blended. Next color we're going to take is a lighter skin color than my own, and it's going to be matte. And the reason why we're using a matte is because we're going to have so much going on on this lid. We don't need you to be a big, big glitter ball. So we're using that, pulling down the brown. If you think you lost some of your color, get your fluffy brush again. Next one I'm going to take is my hip liner in black and an angle brush. <laughs> Whoops. And an angle brush. And I'm going to do a little bit of a winged eyeliner on the top. Um, just enough for our lashes to sit on. Not anything too dramatic. So for the glitter, what I'm going to use is my one of my NYX. Uh, glitter liners and this is in the color Passion 06 and I'm going to put this everywhere on my lid where that pink is um, not touching the black eyeliner let me see make sure you're going to see trying to put more on the bottom and less as you go up try to keep your eye looking down so it can dry without creasing So we're going to let that dry. While we're letting that dry, we're going to prep our eyelashes. I'm using these ones right here, and I actually got these in the April um, Glam Box. I'm not a big fan of them, but before, uh, you know, I kind of bash them, I wanted to try them out. So I tried them out with this look. 
So you have to cut off these two little ends, which is a little annoying. They come really long, so you have to trim them. But how you do that is you cut off the little extra on the inside. Hold that up to your eye and decide how long you need this. I'm going to cut off about one of these little extra things. Boink! We're going to go with that. I'm going to use my duo glue and then I'll come back. Okay, so now for the bottom lid, what we're going to do is we're going to go back to that liner, put a little angle brush in, and we are going to put black into our waterline. Okay, so that's what it looks like when it's just in your waterline. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take a brush that looks like this, a nice little smudge brush, and we are going to smudge that black out, make it look more sultry, if you will. Oh, oh, pushing buttons. Oh. All right, guys, so that's it for the eyes. Now we're going to move on to the face. Okay guys, so we're going to start with the face, so if you're going to go to prom, make sure you prime your face because you want this to last all night. My new favorite foundation right now is a, um, the Maybelline Dream Smooth Mousse, and it looks like that, and we are going to apply it to my face with a brush that looks like this. We're just going to swivel that in, and pat that all over the face. Just an age rewind, and look how... Like it's almost gone. But we're going to use the last of it and get those circles and smear that in again. Okay, the powder that I'm going to use to set is the Bare Minerals Matte Powder. And just a big brush like this that I got from Crown Brushes. Tap off the extra and we're just going to pat that in and set the foundation. Okay, for blush, I'm going to use a MAC blush, and this one is called something. It's in a shimmery, um, deeper pink. I'm just going to pop that onto the apples in my cheeks and pull it back. Pop it off with my one of my favorite glosses. It's from NYX. It's called Smoky Look. It's a nice neutral pink. Okay guys, and that's my prom, easy prom makeup look. Uh, the good thing about this is that glitter hides basically any flaws that you can have in blending. So just pop some of that on there and you'll be good. Again, sorry for this camera. Um, my camera stopped working halfway through my tutorial. So now I need to go buy another one. Guys, I hope you like this. Thanks for sticking with me uh, through my little a little break. I'll definitely do an update video but so you guys know what was going on if you don't follow me on Twitter or Facebook. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and we'll talk to you later. Bye!